Okay, so just a quick guide on how to operate your Vibium Doma Bar machine. This will apply to the, both the Junior and the Supermodel. Uh, and we've got to go over a few very important points that's going to ensure that your warranty is covered. Okay, really important, the uh, water reservoir is always full. Uh, so make sure this guy is always topped up with water. Uh, if it does run out of water and the machine overheats, uh, it can affect your warranty. When it comes to turning on the machine uh, with the junior model, just turn it on. With the super, uh, you need to turn it on to stage one. And this is the water filling. Let it fill first. And then on to stage two so it heats up. Uh, now that's only required to do when the machine is empty, but it's good practice to always do that when you turn on. Again, that's only on the super model. One thing that's uh, going to happen on all coffee machines is scale buildup. So you're going to get some scale buildup over time inside the boiler. Um, that's going to depend on how much you use your machine and the quality of your water. So definitely I always recommended that you're using filtered water through a coffee machine. Even filtered water is going to leave some scale build up over time. Uh, so we recommend really getting that uh, checked and sorted at uh, technicians. So you can always call these guys espresso engineers. They're going to be the ones that will do your regular servicing um, and they can do a descale uh, as it's needed. There's a couple of wearable parts that uh, won't be covered under warranty. Um, the main one is actually the seal inside the head. So up inside here, around here, is a round rubber seal uh, that will get worn over time. Uh, you'll probably find that the handle will stop about here when it's new. Um, and then as the seal gets older, it'll come around further and further and further until it starts to leak. Uh, so that could be six months, it could be 12 months, it could be longer. Um, but that's a wearable part that will need to be replaced. We actually have another video on how to replace the seal. Um, otherwise, speak to your technician. Again, there's a little rubber grip here that's going to wear eventually. There's also a tiny O-ring that goes into the, the milk tip seal. Um, you'll probably find a few small O-rings on the machine that eventually will wear and they won't be covered under warranty. Easily fixed, easily replaced them. Just be aware the unit does get quite hot, uh, especially on top of the head. This is going to be very, very hot. Uh, the water tap and the steam wand are also obviously going to be quite hot. Uh, anything that's black is safe to touch. But always just be aware that the unit does get very hot. The drip tray is going to fill up quite quickly. Uh, so you can take this whole thing out and obviously clean that regularly so it doesn't fill up. Now on the super model only, uh, you have the option to get this plumbed in. Uh, so there's the option to get the water source through a filter and then automatically filling the machine and also the wastewater going out automatically uh, so you don't have to fill up your boiler and empty the drip tray. However, this is a little bit more complicated and we really recommend you talking to a proper technician about getting this set up. Uh, there's a few more pieces required and you may require a plumber. The porter filter or handle should stay hot so this should actually stay in the unit at all times so once you use it and you take it out and clean it leave it back in the head not out like this you can see how the filter is keyed so it's only going to fit in one way that way is actually 45 degrees so put it in the middle there turn it to 45 degrees you'll feel it lock in and then bring it back to the center and it should go quite tight if it doesn't go in properly, you'll feel it go sort of past the center like this, and it won't lock in properly. Bring it back to that 45 degrees, that's where it fits in, and it should lock in and stay at about 90. It's going to take a little while to heat up. Sometimes you might see quite a high reading on the pressure gauge. This is actually quite common in these Domabar models. Uh, there's no actual pressure holding. We call this sort of phantom pressure. So you can see it's just warming up, um, but it's showing uh, 11 bar. Uh, watch as I just release the pressure, it's gone. So kind of like a phantom pressure holding in the gauge. Yes, these have a hot water tap, so great if you're going to make long blacks and things like that. However, it's not a huge uh, water reservoir, so we don't really recommend using the hot water tap unless you really need to be using it. Um, if you just want to be warming up cups and things like that, uh, try water from a kettle. 
Always remember to turn these taps off properly, so after you've used them, make sure they're completely off. Uh, otherwise, the slightest amount of dripping uh, can eventually just drain the whole reservoir. Here you can see now our little orange light has turned off uh, and showing we are ready to go.